Hello. 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 I held the note. You did. Sorry, I forgot to <laughs> You're hold it. You're a baritone. <laughs> I come and left. I dropped it and left. Wow. I'm a soprano. Hello there, internet. I have with me here Tyler Rudolph. Hey. And David Rudolph. Hey, internet. It's his first episode, so we're very proud to have him. On this episode of the Brewcast, we talk about the glorious days of our youth. You know, what we used to wear, our styles, if you will. Yeah, I know. My mom's toes getting severed off by a piece of rug wire, which was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Rug wire. <laughs> David's mom leaving him very cryptic voicemails we try to analyze. And Tyler's then ass gold chain, amongst other things. Text messages, Aziz Anasari. And, you know, maybe we do a little sing and dance routine towards the end. Who's to say? You'll just have to listen and find out. Nah, we don't. <laughs> we might, though. <laughs> Sick. David, you wild animal. God. Also. Dude. Smells like an orphanage in here. I may, I may have tooted throughout the podcast once or twice. D- Dave had a flatulence issue, and but he was kind enough to ask permission. So, I'll allow it. Welcome to the Brewcast number three, a very smelly episode. <laughs> it wasn't bad, it was good. I There's like funny function. parts in it. Could not Why is that so loud? It, yeah, it is coming in real loud. God, I look like a stepdad yelling. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Save that and listen to it later. That's what you sound like when people ask you innocuous questions like, why are you, why does it feel like you're late? Or what were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? Whoa. Take it. Like when you read text messages in the yes, wrong. Yes, that's exactly, that's you, what I do. You read text messages in a negative connotation. Every time. Every time. When someone says okay to me, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> what do you like, like, I'm bothering. But I don't know what other way to, how to, you know, what, what yeah, other words to not- tell you, text you. That's it's, fair. I'm not saying that's you guys. Should I, like, <laughs> like, should I warn you in the text message? Like, like paraphrase, maybe? You were, this following message is going to be completely nice and polite. And... You read text messages like they're italicized. What? It, no, yeah, kind of. And <laughs> it's all about that whole thing where text messages and Facebook and all that is kind of making it super impersonal. So I'm allowed to interpret your guys' words through text any way I want. Yeah. It reflects yeah. more on me than you guys. I'll send you a text like, what are you doing? And you'll read it. What are you doing? <laughs> yes, exactly. Ugh. <laughs> Girl, what are you doing? So, do you do that too, David? Oh, we're here yeah. with David Rudolph. That's the other voice you hear. I'm Chris Brewer. Tyler Rudolph. Say hi, Tyler Rudolph. I'm Tyler Rudolph. No, I said say hi, Tyler Rudolph. Say hi, Tyler Rudolph. There it is. And David, introduce yourself. I'm David Rudolph. I am Tyler's cousin. Oh, yeah. You're more than that, though. Yeah. Lovers. <laughs> Lovers. Anyway, do you read text like uh damn i try not to what, what but it's it's so easy to read it like that it in is a negative way now would you say it reflects more on you it yeah. depends on the person do you right. do it with well, that's everybody what I mean. every uh I, I, it depends how sensitive you going into the conversation right and exactly and how like they send it so say i send crystal a text hey what up baby girl say what up baby girl, what up, baby girl? perfect i send her that she says hey nothing I just sent her a very exuberant, okay, obviously joking text. She sends me back, hey. One word. Just, <laughs> and she might have meant it, hey, but. No, yeah, well, okay. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm guilty of that, too. Right. Yeah, like, I mean, oh, all right, we're taking it back in that. Yeah, you, oh. yeah, okay. Oh, no fun zone. We're in the no fun zone. It's just a hey. <laughs> well, and it was even worse than just mm-hmm. a hey. A hey with a period on the end. Hey, <laughs> well, period. Some, some I'm pissed. <laughs> Back off. I'm some, pissed. Some you fucked up somewhere. Some phones just do that. Some phones just do that. Crystal will send me a text, and half the time they have ellipses. I'm right. like... Yeah. So she'll send me... My head hurts, but her phone sends it to me like, my head hurts? It puts the ellipses by itself? Yeah. I've Crystal, asked does her. Does it really? I've asked her. I'm like, <laughs> why does... How does your phone know if you're trailing off? <laughs> I'm like, why do you do that? <laughs> Why? And to me, for some reason, that makes it sound like she's bummed out about something. See, like my knee hurts. Yeah. Well, yeah. Or or there's more to it. Like right. my knee Did hurts. Someone and, hit you because some and, guy in the parking lot clobbered it with it. And it's cancer. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, that got dark. Frowny face. Face. Speaking of frowny face, you almost have to attach an emoji or an emoticon in a text message to let the person know how you're yeah. feeling. You I know? think that's what they were invented for, because probably enough weirdos like us are like, I'm getting super bummed out by all these negative texts you're sending me. I'm very <laughs> anti-emojis. Like You're anti-text. I, you're I, definitely anti-answering your phone. Getting a hold of you is like getting a hold of... I don't know why I have like, phone. Like, Tyler, on your way here, I text you and asked if you can get me food. And you were like, you, you texted me, what do you want? Right. I write it like, what do you want? Yeah, like, you're I'm bothering like, oh, shit, me. shit, Tyler, then don't get me some food then. Yeah, if it's such a big fucking deal. Well, you guys are all wrong. <laughs> and, then I, and then I was like, you still going to Taco Bell? He's like, yeah. At that point, Y-A. At that that point I yes, was pissed or, because I was like, you I already am. know where I'm going. Just give me the shit. I'm almost to Taco Bell. I need to know the shit. Give me the shit. I need to know the shit. What? I texted him. Could have what are you mind? doing? And he didn't even respond to that. So that was that was I was like three inches away from your dick. I was almost there at your apartment, and I was just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna, not even gonna. Not even bother with it. And then and then you opened the door and you said, "What were you doing?" You said the same text that you texted me, and I was like, "This motherfucker." Okay. Do you know why I said told you to ask you the same thing that I texted you? It's because I didn't answer you. I know, Dad. Okay, okay, I got it. I'm All working right, on it. Well, look. Here's what you can work on. Clean in the basement this weekend and not going out with your friends. I'm going to Mom and Rick's house. <laughs> All right. But will you just kind of let me know if she said anything about me? She doesn't say anything. She's happy with Rick. I told you that. Rick's a better dad than you. Rick doesn't make me clean my room. Yeah, well, you... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was the bit we call the stepdad's better. But let me know. But let me know if she said anything. The way she looked at me the other day when I dropped you off. So, we really flubbed it today, as far as disc yeah. golf goes, would you say? <clears throat> you guys like disc golf? Because that's what we're about to talk about a little bit. Disc, disc golf. golf! We don't even smoke weed! We don't. Or drink uh, steel reserves and leave them in the park. That's or, just the area of town. <laughs> or listen to ICP. <laughs> or ICP? Yeah. ICP? Yeah, we don't, we yeah. don't listen to... Juggalos disc I, golf. Really? Yeah. We never listen to... I thought they'd be too busy... ICP. ...drinking Fago and... And hanging out in a van. Getting 14-year-olds pregnant. Oh my! <laughs> do they do that? Well, yeah. Those are juggalos, aren't they? They got Todd's a juggalo. Have you seen his hatchet man yeah, tattoo? Yeah. Anybody with a hatchet man tattoo, I just like that. <laughs> or or I'm not, hatchet okay. man decal in your car window. Okay, let me kind of pull back We're here, guys. Okay. Some people. Well, what I'm saying is, ICP, Violent J, and uh, Larry the Clown, they've done. <laughs> <laughs> What? I forgot his name. <laughs> they've done great stuff for charity. Yeah, they're not bad people, no, but, but some of their the fans... The things they breed... Most of their fans mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If they're not are bad really... people, then why did they make those personas and... Well, I, I don't I think that makes it... I, I've made a persona about myself, and that's to be a fat piece of shit, but... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right, let's get sad. This is my <laughs> This is my therapy, you guys. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's what they do, right? I don't know. I see people. I see people. And then Fago Pop. Whoop, whoop, Fago, pregnant 14 year olds. I seen an episode of Workaholics where they went to exit, like they had to go to a juggalo convention to rescue one of their friends. And they kind of got absorbed by the community. And they thought it was great. But when they left to go out into the real world with the juggalos, the juggalos started attacking people. Really? I Mm. I don't know. I mean, it's. I don't want to be judgmental. I don't mm-hmm. want to judge a book. What are you going to anyways? <laughs> Immediately. I don't mean to judge a book by its cover, but if the cover is the title is I'm a stupid with grease paint all over my face and I'm just an ass face. Yeah. Well, I don't know. All right. I've if never you like to paint your face. You like to paint your face. Whatever. Well, okay. I'm sitting here with a Spider-Man tattoo on my face, so yeah, I know all about that. Yeah. But you know, I'm not really internet. You no, you don't. Video. Spider-Man no. tattoo. Like the mask, not uh, oh, not like a Tobey Maguire on oh. my, over my face. Or now, what's his name? Andrew. Andrew Garfield. Garfield. I wanted to say Lincoln. I want to get a that's Macho Rick, Man though. Randy Savage tattoo and convince everybody that's actually a Spider-Man one tattoo. They're like, oh, you got a Macho Man? No, it's, it's Spider-Man chainsaw. one. It's Chainsaw. It's the wrestler guy. Chainsaw is ready. You going nowhere? <laughs> chainsaw McGraw, right? I bone, so. bone saw. Bone saw. Bone saw. Yeah, it is bone saw. He convinced us all that it was chainsaw. <laughs> oh, was that you, you guys? See those props in the crowd? No. 
Yeah. Oh, they were like actual they, actual like paper oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 on their arm. <laughs> Bone saw's ready, you guys. I I almost said that one person had a defense, but that's a football game. Oh, like, <laughs> the, like the D, D in the, the fence. fence. The white picket fence. He was just... He was, I did not know what the fuck that was until I was about 19 years old. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Why do I keep seeing that? Bro, Why do people have pieces of the should, fence? Bro, I don't even football, and I know what that meant. It was like, <laughs> like a game of Mad Gabs, and I was like, D... We digress. We should open up a Greatly. football uh, prop museum. Museum. Yeah. What would be in there? Foam finger, obviously. That'd be that'd the be, sign that said, I just made the sign to piss off the people behind us. Herpy derp derp. They make things like that? People do. That's yeah. like a... a Why? Curtain. What's funny about that? You ruined someone's $80 experience? $80 experience. That's that sounds like... More than that. that sounds like something a prostitute would do. What do you want? <laughs> An $80 experience. <laughs> like a very PC prostitute. Yeah, yeah. They, you'd hop in, they'd hop in your car, they're like, what do you want, the $40 experience or the $80 experience? I just want a fucking hand job. What's that? Which experience is that? That's $20. That's the $20 <laughs> experience, and I don't want you to and call it a hand And she doesn't job. like it. <laughs> I don't want you to call it that. It's the $20 and experience. When like, the sticky icky's coming out, you tell me. <laughs> you tell me and you say, pretty, pretty, please, with sugar on top. And I got to get my hand out and you pay me and I'm on my way. Tra la 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 la. <laughs> and she's in the, uh, she's the, uh, the nice witch of the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, oh. but she has like a cardigan that's the, only button at the top. Gwen- Glenda? Glenda? Glenda. Glenda. Glenda the good witch. Glenda the good hooker. Ooh. I'm liking where <laughs> this is going. She's creepy looking. Was she? I just... <sighs> Did you guys know, fun fact about the darling fiance over there, Wizard of Oz is her favorite movie it's your of, favorite all movie of all time. time. Of all it's time. It's a great movie, don't get me wrong, but she... Better than Weekend at Bernie's? Get the fuck out of here, Crystal. Your priorities are way out of line. Get the fuck out of my apartment. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Aggressive. Um, Weekend at Bernie's, I, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, was atrocious. Really? Not a bad movie. Do you remember we were trying to watch that on Netflix? Necessarily. When me and Brewer lived together at the duplex. We were sitting there trying to watch was it Lincoln as, at Bernie's. Okay, so it was bad. And you weren't even, you were like reading a book or something in the living room. That's what And I'm did. pretty sure you, you left and went to bed because. Weekend at Bernie's was on? Dave was genuinely, genuinely <laughs> laughing. It's a, I lo- it's a, it's okay. funny. It's a funny okay, movie. Okay, fair enough, but that body would have decomposed. They were in the south. Weren't they in Florida? I don't know. I don't remember. Never he was wearing a Hawaiian shirt, though, wasn't he? So it had to be hot. Never hot, somewhere. dead bodies. Yeah, it was definitely smell. like somewhere on the beach. Beachy state. Mm-hmm. Beachy. beachy state. <laughs> what a beachy state. She was a real Control beachy state. Control your wife. She's in a beachy state. <laughs> we were on the same road there, Tyler. You just you gunned it a little faster than me and got, took the exit out of me. No to Tyler. <laughs> that's, a, that's a race car. I do that when old people are at work. <laughs> oh my god! They're using their walker. You did it today. I, yeah, I did it today. Had a cane. And it's. I feel really bad about it. It was so funny. They're like going so slow, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I like. That I don't do it when the they're Doppler in effect. <laughs> he starts quiet, <laughs> right. but you got to know that the person's already. That's right. <laughs> it's like surround sound. <clears throat> it's very nice. It's clever. It's smart. That's a smart joke of you, Tyler. It's not even a joke. It's a sound effect. Fine, Tyler. It's not a goddamn. And that's joke. how you judge people's character. <laughs> do they laugh right in the old lady's face? <laughs> You're check, old and slow. Check and check. But now, from now on, when I see an old person by myself at like the you grocery do store, yes, yeah, so I. I imagine Tyler in my head mm-hmm. going. Whoa. I do it, and I laugh out loud. I do look it at me myself. Like, yeah. Because what a I legacy. Guess, <laughs> we'll carry it on. When I leave this earth, well. It in was, about a year or two. <laughs> in about six months, <laughs> depending on how things go. So, yeah, let's talk about we flubbed it at Disc Golf. Oh, yeah, we were talking about Disc yeah, Golf, yeah. and we talked about Wizard of Oz, and we talked about old people. We walk out there because it's 50 degrees here in Ohio, and if you've been following any yeah, kind of weather... like 45 minutes. I don't know when this is going to air, so this, it's March 10th today. Yeah, it's March 10th, and it's been about... Okay, it's 45, it, fair. But it's, it's been negative 26. Yeah, it's been a really cold winter. And so we got all, we busted a nut over how warm it's going to be. It was and the first. 46 degrees? Oh yeah. my God, it's practically summer. And it, it, it did feel like we, like, well, like yeah, it felt I'm pretty fine, warm outside. Yeah. Like. And well, all the old ladies, you know, they're posting pictures of like, you know, 
oh, 46 degrees in Florida. And yeah, they're, in coats. And they're all bundled up. Right, and then it's like, yeah, we get in it. In Michigan or in Ohio. Yeah, yeah we get it. We're in t-shirts and we're barbecuing. It's, it's pretty true, though. <laughs> it is. It's super true. It's My, super true, but it's super old. It's like, don't post. We get it. We get it, Climate. Grandma. We get it. Okay, but we get there thinking, for some reason, all the snow is going to be gone, even though it's gone from nowhere else in the city. And we get there, and it's a swamp, and we just can't do it. And I lost a disc. Yep. That was your first throw the of the year. Of the first throw of the year. Ooh, first throw of the year. I don't like that. You let her rip. Oh, that's, oh, a, weird, that's a bad no. way to look. That's, I don't like that. Is that a prediction of how the whole year is going to go? If it is, I'm not going to disc It's anymore. like uh, Punks to Tony Phil. <laughs> Punks, isn't day. it Punks to Tony? I don't know, dude. What am I, linguist? Punks to Tony. Punks to Tony. You, you made that joke earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm doing it again. Wow. I'm not a linguist. It sells, I guess. Tell <laughs> crowd. Linguist. Ooh, they're calling me it's out. It's a word I don't get to use a lot. Like no. propaganda. Propag- that's really weird you said that because I think I was no no I wasn't never now we get to say it. Like, dad I'm sick of you wanting me to go to college I'm sick of your propaganda, propaganda. I don't think you used that right in that sense though. so what was he doing making making it was videos like making and posters, pamphlets posters and he put it like, about how the great and be like go to college it's really good mm-hmm. and I'm like that's propaganda mm-hmm. that was a 7th grade history vocabulary word and I was like what the fuck is that what do you mean and, like, I what read the description, mean? and I was just like... Like, what does it mean exactly? What does it mean exactly? Bullshit? Is that basically it, no, what it's it is? Not. <laughs> it's uh, heavily biased uh, information. Oh, I got what you're saying. tries to get you Super to sway you one way, into... In the positive. Right. I can't imagine what negative propaganda... Like, and that's Nazi propaganda. That's like slander. Negative propaganda is like, don't vote for Chris Brewer. He's a piece yeah, of but, shit. Yeah. But I put it out. <laughs> Yeah, that would, <laughs> that would be negative. That's propaganda. doing the opposite of what you want it to do. Yes, okay. Like I don't know why nobody's voting for me. I thought I'd I maybe a little was, humility. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe some, some reverse votes. Reverse psych. I'm good. a piece of shit. All right, there I said it. I'm honest at least. But God, I'm gonna make a mess of everything. <laughs> Fucking vote for me or don't. Whatever. Whatever. And I flip my dyed hair out of my face because it was in my eyes, and I walk off stage. What was that you and you a sophomore? Yeah, right yeah, around there. Yeah. Yep. I, uh, Fifth or junior. I, I, you know, one of the worst pictures I've ever taken was at Woodward. Um, what was that, Bowser? It might have even been Bowser. These are high schools in Toledo. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, What's a Woodward Bowser? I had dyed hair. But for some reason, and I knew it was picture day. I remember going, it's picture day, as I was going to school. I wore a Notre Dame college Football T-shirt. You, you follow Notre Dame. No, he doesn't. Because Chris Brewer footballs <laughs> equals football. Hey, you've been getting better, but I have. What color was your hair at the time? I, I gotta say it was a uh, just bleach blonde in the front. Bleach I had to put blonde. a color in it because okay. I had I have very dark hair. Yeah. Internet. <laughs> you peroxide? Yeah, like yeah. Pony boy. Yep, yep. I That's used to, sweet. David was around for I that. Was. That was he that seemed, was a favorite of yours. Yeah. And, well, I wore that, and then the thing about that in of itself, I guess if I would have just worn, like, oh, he likes football is what they would say if they see my shirt. But the problem was it had a really stretched collar, as <laughs> if as if someone grabbed me right before and just shook and me just kinda beat and then your said, ass get up there. And I don't know why I didn't wear undershirts then. I wear them heavily oh, now. Oh, so there's a lot of bare chest hanging yeah, out there. Yeah, there is. He can, <laughs> some, uh, some feelers coming up over the top of that neckline there. And, you know, it was upsetting, but I wore it, and it wasn't the first time the I wore it. things you wear in high school. Let's talk about you now, Tyler. What I'd wear in high school? Oh, yeah. Well, were you a fan of <laughs> thin gold chains? I was, was going to say that, too. Because apparently I was. 24-7. I, I wore all the time. All four years. Uh, yeah, I think. Nah. Did you wear a hat? I wore a hat and uh, glasses, for a right? long time. Yeah, I had glasses before I got contacts. So you were. And uh, so it would be like uh, it'd be uh, my old baseball hat. Ooh. And it, I'd fold the shit out of the brim. Cause which I was, had the letter T on it, which... Was the name of your fo- baseball team and and the letter. first letter of my name? Did people assume it was the first letter? I feel like I, I you know I don't know. It didn't look he like the same a, logo. If I were in your school at the time and seen you, like so, he wears a hat with a T on the. <laughs> I look like a cartoon character. Yeah, and like Tyler was wearing. <laughs> Why does he wear a T hat? Well, because his name's Tyler. That's the character. <laughs> that's his whole thing. You know, oh, that's okay, his, that makes that's sense. Just shtick. It's like a, I look like a fucking Nick Junior. 
cartoon character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a gold chain, though. So was... And throw David in there, it'd be called David and the Boys. Yeah. I'd have a B on David my shirt. Because we're kind of the same, <laughs> but we're slightly different. It's a Nick Jr. Yeah. show, yeah. so you have See? to have some yes, kind of yes. letter. But they know uh, David's name. He doesn't need a letter because it's called Oh, yeah, David it's called David and the, and the Boys. boys. Right. So I'm I David. I don't need a D, though. Oh, you need well, a D. I, I mean, I already oh. have the D. Oh, yes. Oh, you, <laughs> you don't need another one. That would be the whole thing. Like, okay, Burr has his B in his shirt, Tyler has a T in his hat. David, you where's your D yet? In your ass. <laughs> well, bend over. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, you know. And it stopped being a Nick Jr. show for <laughs> Just <David> like <laughs> that. I'd wear, like, uh, way too big shirts. I didn't know what size shirt I wore in high school. Right, but... People would you... ask me, what size shirt you wear? I'm like, XL, you... 135 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five foot nine. I don't wear a fucking XL. Are you kidding me? I wear these huge ass shirts, and I was just, man. You know, I look back on those pictures, and I'm just like, mm. well, see, what kind? You, what did you wear, David? You wore I can call I wore, it. I wore a solid color T-shirt. Yeah, but that's not what was the big thing. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, no. The big thing about you were shorts all year all, round. All year round. Jean shorts, as a matter of fact. And hey, you know we're guilty of. David loved himself some jean shorts. He had a voicemail he'd play on repeat every once in a while of his mom calling him not getting him <laughs> and she David G shorts are no, on set at it, was like, it was a five second it was just a blip was... right <laughs> where was it at though what's Target the... I think Target or Cold Walmart I think it was, was oh, it Walmart, Walmart. Yeah, but she it was, was so Walmart. your mom's very soft spoken oh, yeah so it was like yeah. actually it went like this it went <laughs> David <laughs> <laughs> they have jean shorts at Walmart for five dollars click Bye. <laughs> why, why Teresa was Rudolph, a, are you in here right now? Why was it <laughs> such a quick voicemail, dude? It was, she it was quick. It was quick, but she said David and then paused and then said Jean Because she was she looking was, at him. No, yeah. And then she paused again and said bye. I got a confirmation. She was in the middle of getting kidnapped. Like they were in the house. <laughs> that, she, she was, was hiding in a closet. But she knew she had to tell you about that deal. She had to. She only it had so either, much time. Please God help or... <laughs> I could call 911, <laughs> but I can't do that. The jean shorts are on sale. David doesn't even know about it. And yet. he's got, like, what, 13, 14 pairs left? He, he needs, needs more. more. <laughs> <laughs> Were you pretty well stocked on jean shorts, Dave? Did Not you just, really. Did you just wear well, one Well, jeans don't get dirty. Away? I only had a couple, yeah. Because <laughs> jeans don't get couple. dirty ever. They don't. What, what's, what's funny is she calls me and lets me know, like, like, I have a job and I have a car that I can just right, zoom over to Walmart and buy them. What? I was like 17. I didn't have a job. You didn't have a job, nor... What were you doing? Why like, didn't you take that call, David? It's like, Mom, I, didn't, I don't know. Why she, didn't I? Uh, I he's probably with us. Do you hate your mother? Goofing off. Yeah, well, yeah, he does. Well, Sorry, Teresa. It's a fact. I, it's I, probably because you already knew. That's what this is really about. Busting balls. David hates his mom. David, why? <laughs> I love my mom. Well, I like to bust her balls. Like I was today. Yeah, what it's did, the best. What did you do, Dave? Bust her balls today. I don't know. Just it's he does it so often he doesn't even <laughs> I remember. I don't even remember. I don't. It means so little to me. I might remember it throughout the conversation. Is it like drinking water or eating? You just do it because yeah. you have to. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Yeah, it, yeah, it just comes naturally. I just, I just do it. My mom left me a voicemail that said, <laughs> "I just listened to it uh, yesterday." It said, "Chris, I had my toe surgery. I'm fine." <laughs> and then. Like, seriously, four or five seconds of dead silence, and then she just hung up. So it's, it's good to know. All right. <laughs> All right Are you mom. sure it went fine? I'm not sure if my mom has any toes left. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The grossest thing I've ever seen, you guys want to hear it? I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. David's enthused. Ooh, David. <laughs> yes? David, stop stroking it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hear him out first. I was in my bedroom at this one... I, I love, apparently, living under the ground in basement apartments. That's where we're at now. Yes, sir. And uh, my mom, I hear a cry from the other room, so I run out from my bedroom to investigate. A cry? Ah! Okay. <laughs> Chris, help! And I run out there. That's my impression of my mom. Okay. And I run out there, and uh, there's blood everywhere. And so not... I react very bizarre when it comes to injury, and I almost blame the person. You can ask Crystal when she like hits her head or her elbow. I'm like, why'd you do that? I get so upset with them. My mom had cut two of her toes down past the bone with a thread from a carpet. Oh my god! It hooked a in there. Thread from well, a carpet. it hooked in her toes, and then she tripped. What? And it what just, is it? A thread from a rug, not a carpet, a rug. Oh, like a like a a woven rug. Like a rogue 
Yeah, so like, a, yep, yeah. and it caught just in kinda. it, and then she tripped, and it's like, you know, the hitman, just, just... Like a, what is that, garrote wire. Yeah, it just seared it all the way down, and she wanted my help so bad. What did you do? Was, did you just kill her and put her on Dad, 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 in dad, my bedroom. Dad, dad. <laughs> I would just held my hand over her mouth. <laughs> like, shh, there's too much blood, dude, I can't take it. My mom would have punched me in the face, and then I would have cried. So there would have been tears and blood, and then more blood. So what did you guys do? My dad did something, got her to the hospital or something. It was so... Put some duct tape over it. I just, I can't deal with it. What do you want me to do, Sharon? Shit, we don't have any band-aids. Like, I've seen people get beat up and all that stuff, but, like, it's nothing compared to seeing two toes chilling on a piece of skin, hanging off with blood, just... That's gross. It was gross, that's right. That it sound was... that you made <laughs> sounded like you were spreading jelly on toast. <laughs> made me uncomfortable. And all I could think was blood jelly... <laughs> On top of toe toast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. What? what? Toe toast. <laughs> toe toast. Which is just toast with toes on it. Oh, so it's not toast oh, made out of toes? It's not toast. On My imagination's toaster. not. David, what? <laughs> Who? Your David, imagination's you not. You have what? some demons. I was I mean, gonna. I thought of something that I said to my mom yesterday. Oh, please. Uh, what did you say to you? What? How did you bust your mom's balls, David? <laughs> oh, ma- can I just make a real quick comment before we go any further? David Rudolph's mom is one of the sweetest women she I've yeah, ever met in my life. Nice as hell. Who does not deserve any of this? Any gruff? Go, from David. David. We walked all over her when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, because she would never yell at us. <laughs> she you know? wouldn't. I remember. Teresa being... Dormat Rudolph. <laughs> I remember she would be like, David, you want pork chops or dinner? Ugh, Fucking hell, Mom! You know I don't like pork chops. And it's like, <laughs> you do, though. And he did. He white people. Yeah. That's a we, white people thing. Right? Pork chops? Anyways, what did you... No, yeah, pork chops. <laughs> so anyways, last night she was watching The Vow, which is a movie with Chan Tatum and Rachel McAdams. Oh, I know what The it's Vow a, is. It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> chick flick, flick. tearjerker. It sounds brew, like it. It's a brewer flick. She was sitting there trying to watch the movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I, I come through, uh, prancing through the living room. I just start stomping on the floor. I go, la, 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 just to interrupt her movie, you know? You, I thought you said you busted her balls. And then I started... Terrorize her. And I started... <laughs> Hit her in her face? I with said, an iron? <laughs> and then I sat down next to her, and I'm like... I'm like... I started, like, you know... Bumping her? Bumping her leg. And I was like, shouldn't have had a kid. What did I say? You should you should have used protection, you know. You just said that to your mom. <laughs> you should have used protection instead of what having you having kids, yeah. <laughs> and then, but here, my sister take when I when I bust my mom's balls, Ashley takes it. My sister takes it a step too far. Oh man! <laughs> because That's why. your dad should have pulled out. No, my mom. No, <laughs> my sister says too bad for those miscarriages, or else you would have had more. Oh my god. I'm like, oh my god! Even myself, I was like, did Ashley, you like stop. hug your mom right away? <laughs> no. Nothing like joking about a miscarriage. It's so hilarious. So I, st- I, ha- I had to stop giving my mom a hard time because Ashley yeah. took it too far. Why did so she? So what'd you do? do? Hit your sister? Like, what are you doing? Have a whispered argument in the other room? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. Shit, ain't funny. I mean, it's kind of funny, but I mean, <laughs> she's it's not... shockingly funny. <laughs> it's not cool. <laughs> so, so it's not Louis C.K. It's like, yeah, you shock a laugh out of people. <laughs> She's not witty like that, so... Speaking, okay, though, if we're done talking about how awful you are to your own mother, can we talk about... Have you seen the Aziz Anasari's new special? No, I haven't. Oh, my God. How good is that? It's really good. Holy is it really? shit, the man. Fun, like, the beginning is, like, comedy, like, yeah, funny but stuff. He gets and then he gets some real shit. Real deep, like, life shit that's, like... It, I said it, yeah, it was brilliant. It was one of the best stand up. Is that your computer humming? Yeah, it's just a fan. Hey, um, that's don't worry right. about it. Be yeah. all right. No. It's, our, it's our number one fan. <laughs> David. <laughs> Anyways, you know, I, I never got into him. There's something about his voice. It's, um, it's I, a, I it's think if you watch uh, Parks and Rec, yeah. You might his watch is not annoying at all on that show. But when you watch the stand up, it's, it's like. Mean, it's not a no. Well, okay. Uh, I don't know. It's kind yeah. of annoying to me. It's just weird. It's just kind of... It is. It is. Big time. But it's a really good special. Like, he made me feel like a piece of shit, but in, like, a good way. Because, like... Well, like, when he took that girl's phone, <laughs> now it's dying. Yeah. Um, And you're welcome. What? In the In the, in the special. He Spoiler calls, alert! He calls someone up, and he's like, let me see your phone, because he's talking about relationships, and how... 
We talk about how they people digress. meet. Yes, and how people meet through text now, yeah. and how nothing is ever an unknown thing. Go ahead. Like, no, what I was that? My phone was ringing. Oh, I, mean, I think it's a Red Cross call. They again. called me. I had to hang up on them. They called me while I was picking up a customer. They call me all the time. And they I'm call like, me yeah. like an ex-girlfriend. Hey, this is a Red Cross. Hey, we you ever want... think about me? Do you... Do you have any more blood in you? <laughs> <laughs> Can we squeeze a little bit more? Why is no. Rick Ross working at the American... Rick Ross? <laughs> like the biggest boss you've seen thus far? Oh, I thought you said... Oh, you said Red Cross. Yeah. I thought you said Rick Ross. Yeah, Rick Ross. Yeah, that's my impression. This is Rick, Rick Ross, Ross at the Red Cross. <laughs> this is Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge rap superstar. I kind of sound like Martin Short. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about before? Um, Aziz Ansari's... Spitting hot fire. Oh, yeah, that's right. Aziz Ansari's... He's reading the girl's cell phone. He's, yeah, and he's talking about how people meet nowadays and how... It's not very it's, personal. Yeah, it's just not. And how over the course, the texts kind of get worse. And, like, the dude's kind of a weirdo, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah. And he... Uh, it goes back to what we were saying with the ellipses. He says, okay, and then he goes, dot, dot, dot... And, like, Aziz makes a big deal. The guy said dot, dot, dot. Was he reading a text message? Yeah, he took the girl's phone. So he's reading this chick's text messages. She's obviously fine with it. She hands her phone. And it's a very good special. Yeah, It got a laugh out of Crystal, and she's a comedy snob. Comedy snob. Because, like, he was saying, like, when he's going to die. No, I'd say Gaffigan. Gaffigan. Or Brian Regan. You love Brian Regan. Brian Regan. Yes, <laughs> Anthony Jesselnik. Dry ass Jesselnik, yeah, he's funny. <laughs> That's my impression of something being dry and not going down. And you don't know anything about how to wash a baby. <laughs> yeah, check out Anthony yeah, Jesselnik. Yeah, please do. Even though you know what he's thinking. If he would hear this, he'd make a joke about, yeah, thanks. All your 12 listeners are <laughs> all spreading hilarious. the word. And we'd be like, <laughs> but we'd cry. On the inside. But so I mean yeah, it's worth to listen. It's worth to watching. Because yeah. he because he was all like you know when you when you first text a person, you know you text you send it and then you're all paranoid because they haven't replied back after five minutes mm. and you're like oh did they put enough whys you know yeah yeah I didn't put enough whys at the end of you know hey how's it going yeah. <laughs> and it's just a big commentary on just how, like you said how people meet and yeah. it's really good and then. When you don't want to hang out with somebody, people like act they make, like they're like, busy. Right. They, instead of just being like, no. That that was a huge, that struck a huge chord with me. And I was like, for real though. Because you can either say, no, I don't want to hang out. Or ignore you can em. say, ignore them or act Make like an busy. excuse. Yeah. I, I can tell people no. No matter how, they, how mad they get, I just say no anymore. And I'm a lot of people reason. in the crowd rose their hand and said that they make up excuses that they're busy. And he's like, busy. what's the matter with you? And then they, also, they ask him, like, what would you want people to say to you yeah and to be you know truthful and i don't think anybody wants that really i don't think anybody and i know everyone says yeah no i want you to tell me the truth I, always tell me the truth I agree you're with a you. fucking liar yeah, yeah. Like, you no want, i just don't mm-hmm. feel like hanging out it's if like oh it's personal then, yeah well for me not, not even necessarily it. with like hanging out it's like sometimes pills are hard to swallow <clears throat> and you want to make them as general to go down as possible so please if i smell bad or i'm obnoxious asshole and you just don't like me, then just say, like, ah, oh, just, I'm busy. Please, don't point out my flaws. I know that I have plenty of them already. I don't need people pointing them out. Everyone wants to be lied to. That's mm-hmm. how I feel, you know? It's getting real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time, time Back time. to the fart jokes. Oh, that's how we make our oh. big bucks. The for, ellipses for, in text messages, though. What do, you, the buggy? what do you guys keep saying? Ellipses. Ellipses, ellipses are the ellipses? dot, dot, The dot. three is usually coming it's three. three That's dots. what they're called? Yeah. yeah. Who calls it? Who, it's like the when English you say language? a sentence and instead of a period, you go dot, dot, dot. It's like a trail. It's like... They've been called that for a long time? Yeah, for, that's what it's called. It's called the ellipses. Okay. like an ampersand. Yeah, do you know what that is? Ellipses? Yeah. Ellipses. ellipses. What's the ampersand? Ampersand is the and symbol. And symbol. The and symbol. Think... Of the, and sign. Think of the symbol. It's almost like a cursive G, and, yeah, but not a like swap. Like a percent sign. Yeah. And like uh, asterisk. Ooh, that's yeah, a good that's one. That's a really good one. Asterisk. You know what that is? That's the star. Yeah, it's a star. Yeah. Though. Right. Red so, covers. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the ellipses. Now, whenever somebody puts in ellipses, I always think of them texting. And they it's like they're texting and they're like, I got to convey a message here. There's more to what There's I'm saying. There's more to what I want to say, but I don't want to say it mm-hmm. yet. So I'm going to put in these physical 
three periods. I'm going to leave you to hanging. To let you know. Like, oh, there's you, more. You better inquire. The worst one for that to follow is we have to talk. Mm. There is nothing in the world. We have to talk. Dot, dot, dot. You're like... Oh. Like, you're some... Just go... Am I getting a divorce? I'm getting a divorce. He's probably fucking some bigger dude. It's <laughs> just if, game over. Why every time. Why do that, though? Why don't they just... Well, like I said earlier, hey, Crystal's wh- phone... Why do they do... Uh, I don't know. Why Because why, they're do, why do they give you a warning that they're, they're, they need to know. talk? Why you don't think... Why can't you just go to someone's house and... Did you knock, or did someone at the door knock? Crystal. Who knocked? Who's knocking on the door? Go look. Who's at the door? Who's at the door? I swear. I don't think... I think it was just a noise. Oh, okay. Bear just got up. Oh, fuck it. Anyways, ellipses. Ellipses. Why do they do it? Ellipses. Ellipses, that's great. Ellipses, because not Ulysses. I don't know. <laughs> not, U- they don't put Ulysses. the president. Ellipses S. Grant. Ellipses. He wasn't that's a president. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, that's hard. It's hard to say. It's a hard to fucking... I'd never name my kid Ulysses. I would. Ulysses. We're getting off oh, topic. Nope, I wouldn't. Yeah, we are. Let's talk grammar. <laughs> <laughs> and presidents. <laughs> and generals. Wink. He's both. I History... He was both, Brewer. He was, both, he was in the Brewer. Civil War. Brewer, Brewer come on. You didn't know that. I didn't know he was president. Yeah. You didn't know he was president? I knew he was general. I never knew he got elected. For two I, terms. I thought he was a drunk. And they weren't <laughs> back-to-back terms. What, am I right so. about the drunk? They weren't? No. No, bro. God damn it. We they were so like, we don't topic. want you now. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to settle down. All right, what's the topic, Tyler? Tell us. Yeah, the ellipses of why people do it. Oh, just because we... I thought we covered that. No, you said because they're assholes. Oh, why do they do it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why well, do they do it? Why? My real reasoning behind why people do stuff like that is because they don't want to convey. Because nine times out of ten, when you tell someone we need to talk, dot, 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 it's never a very comforting thing you're about to lay on. It's right. never like, I just got a new bike. It's always something. And but why don't they just say, we need to talk and leave no punctuation? In there? Because It's a text message. Because they're trying to convey to you that it's what serious. we need to talk about is important, but I'm not going to tell you through text well usually when you get we need to talk you know it's going to be serious regardless but the dot 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 means not true you're this is really i just really sent her real. a text message the other day about we need to talk and that's all i said and then i met up with her and i it was something no it was, yeah like i, were I you, think were you scared though she was tripping like, balls i was well no i wasn't tripping no balls. Was. were your balls tripping over your feet <laughs> she doesn't have balls <laughs> little do you know <laughs> Your balls was, called you to stumble. It was yesterday that you texted me that, and it wasn't something dumb. It was about the stupid rent. Oh Christ! I don't so, know. So yeah, no. Let's talk about your rent. Oh uh, no. <laughs> so it was semi-serious. Then. I guess, but, but I I don't think I said we need to talk. I said I I need to talk to you about something. Yeah, ellipses. No I think we can all agree on this. Ellipses are never good. They're never good. No. They're never. I just won the lottery. Good. No. Never. Not, I just won the lottery. Good. Dot dot dot. I'm of what? Conquer the world. A lottery of what, though? Like, uh, dead people's feet or something? Why would Dead you... people's feet. I don't know why. They're it's severed terrible. in a bag. It's terrible. So many it fills my apartment. Worst lottery ever. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with all these dead people's feet. Do you want some? You want some of these dead people feet? Dot, dot, dot. Because if it was good, they'd put extra Y's at the end of hey. I mean, extra, extra Y's. Not oh, nuts. like, hey. hey. Okay, my girlfriend uses the ellipses. All the fucking time. Like, like too much. Too much is like, what are you, a novelist? <laughs> For everything. What, what's she? up with all these punctuations? And she didn't start doing it. She started doing it after one of her friends started doing it. Ooh, okay? Yeah. That's my theory on it. <laughs> well, like I said, her, she does it all the time too, but it, I'll show her the text in my phone, and then she'll show me the one in her phone where there are none. Really? It comes through for some reason on my phone. Like, you need, honey... Baby child. My <laughs> phone is a like about a 70-year-old black woman who just wants to specify what is important and what isn't. So it's like, baby child, that ain't going to fly with him. Let me add these ellipses and get rid of this extra Y. So she can say something very happy to me, and I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Why are all these ellipses what? in here? Bad. I've, I've called her out. Like, why are you using so many ellipses, dude? Why are you doing that? How, what's their answer? I don't know. I've always Why done do you it. I'm like, no, you haven't, dude. <laughs> You're a liar. Like, she pimps that LOL out. I was going to just say, that LOL, she misses. Woo. Yeah, Ooh. she does. She she'll it's like, she'll be like, hey, LOL. And she'll do LOL. <laughs> LOLs are always. How's it going, LOL? I just got into the worst car accident of my life, Wool. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are, those are commonly misused, though. By I mean, everyone. Yeah. A lot of people do. I never. 
ever, ever, ever laugh out loud. When I put <laughs> ever in my loud. life, I like, <laughs> stay yep. away from it. I'm very stern. And, no, um, it's funny. I just didn't LOL. I just don't need to LOL. I'll tell you it's funny. Usually when I think something's funny, I'll put LMA. LMA. Yeah, I've used that a couple times. Laugh my ass off. When I say something funny, I don't know whether to use LOL or LMAO or ha ha ha. Or well, David, you have my favorite laugh in the world. So I can picture it in my head. So if you put LOL at something, I hear that. <laughs> LOL means... <laughs> LOL means I didn't laugh out loud. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah. LMAO might mean that you did laugh out loud. But not like... And ha 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 you're fucking laughing. I hate the buah. The buah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are you evil? I use ba ha 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 ha. It was. Well, could be either. I don't like... All I know is today, someone handed me an energy drink. And that's how I laughed. <laughs> Do you, well, you were there. AJ handed me that Nas. And I was like... <laughs> no... It no, wasn't I wasn't you. there. It was but... Annie. Mm-hmm. Story over. People you don't know. End it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> a single LOL in text message form. <laughs> you say something, and it's like a fucking paragraph long, and that person's just, LOL. Well, that goes, Send. that's just like K. I think I hate K. K. K more is even worse. Anything. More than, and she's laughing because that's her favorite fucking letter of the alphabet. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I will pour my heart out via text. I love you so much. This is my life goals. I want you to be with me every step of the way. My response is K. 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 I think. Oh, right. K. What are you, a men in black agent? Just or indifferent. K-K? Just that's what it says to me. I'll do KK. Even KK is better. KK. Yeah, KK is better. It's like KK. All KK right. is is the the positive connotation of K. Well, like, K just a, seems indifferent. If you're a person that uses K, throw another K on there. You'll make there the person you feel oh, a yeah. hell of a lot better for some bucks. reason. Well, like, I'm coming over. You okay. use the extra effort to type so in So, fuck you. I won't letter. come over then. Fuck you and your stupid letters. Sick of letters. KK. Oh, I'll, I'll be right there. i job when I get there. What is this? I was talking about just coming over to your house. Well, you still... Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Same, same thing. Yeah, yes. We're not missing much. Would I be getting a hand job? I'm <laughs> like, KK. <laughs> okay. Okay, KK. That's a childish ellipses. But I throw that at ellipses. Okay, KK. What do you do if you get a KK ellipses? Ooh. KK ellipses. You don't leave the house. My brain would explode. (laughs) What? What? Break your phone. What are your intentions? I call him on the phone. What are your intentions? Well, that's just. That's what, you know, it's just really got impersonal. I mean, how often do you actually talk anymore? And now that anyway. now that everyone, I feel like everyone nowadays has unlimited texting. Mm-hmm. Remember back in the day when we had limited texting? Oh, you better you better mean what you say. <laughs> you better keep them letters. NVM for never right. mind. You know, it's just like. What are we what's going on for? out there? Did someone yell at me? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know. Let's continue. These are we have a lot of interest. I felt like people texted right more, more in depth. More the texts were more in depth when it was limited texting. Like, they got the point across better, or... I think they'd shorten the things, like... Because you were paying for each text that you sent, you know? Yeah, and they were Okay, crazy, yeah, I get what you mean. I remember not having texting, but I could still text, and it was like a quarter of text or something. I remember playing again. Snake on my phone. Did I didn't have a... Snake. <laughs> I didn't have my own cell phone until I was well into are my... farts been better in this podcast? Mid-twenties. Farts? Yeah, go ahead. Let them go. They're, they're, they are bread and butter. We said I hope you, that picks you, it up. I mean, we said you could do that. But not like a, shit your pants. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Jesus Christ. It's not like a baby crying in the other room. <laughs> oh, guys, I gotta get that. <laughs> That's a very good baby cry, bro. Do it again. <laughs> wow. Do it again. Everybody shut up. <laughs> baby cry. Oh, shit, honey. Look, it's your turn, dude. I'm playing Call of Duty. I almost got dogs. It's ghosts. Come on. Yeah, dogs. Dogs like they're playing World at War in 2015. <laughs> what, do we live in Pakistan? Man, I love that game. I played Rock Band 3 in 2015. We just played that the other day. Yeah, me too. I, uh... <laughs> when people ask me if I play video games, I say, yeah. And they're like, oh, sweet, what? Rock Band. Rock Band, they get remember so that? Bad. Rock Band? Yeah, I think. And they're like, oh, Lord. When I was in the fifth grade. And I'm like, oh, Lord, what? <laughs> And they're like, I didn't, I, I didn't know people still played those games. And they're like, well, yeah, well, they do. They do. <laughs> oh Lord, what? 
We all can't be royals, you stupid bitch. Royals. Living in our own blood. That's not the line. Living in our own blood. I know the words, but right now I'm like having a brain fart. Living like a queen bee. I could meet you. Maybe I will. Uh, I was talking to my friend Let me be your Robbie I'm about. Uh, Let me be your. Robbie's a buddy tree. of mine. I was talking to him, and I just happened to say I don't think Lord's talented, and you guys should have seen the. Fit. Well, some people are Lord fans. It was gorgeous. David Rudolph right here, Lord fan. You like Lord? I How like old Lord. is she? 16. Why does that time I check. She's 16. Mm-hmm. David, relax, okay? Get off her ass, okay? <laughs> That's why, Matt. I wish I, was, I wish I was on Dave's ass. trying not to get the attention <laughs> drawn to it. You're walking on shaky ground, my friend. <laughs> You're walking on eggshells. Then ice, that's you. <laughs> when I have, when have I ever not? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, okay, you got us there. I've seen David say some questionable shit in front of his girlfriend before, and I was like, David, what are you David, what are you doing? I just want to, like, whisper to David, stop. The horse is, is it, like, slow motion? Back on Text the him. Race. David, no. <laughs> Dad. Well, what did, what did you say when we got back from Cody's bachelor party? We were on the balcony. Was it then? When we got back from Cody's bachelor party? No, it wasn't party. that then. No, it was something to do... At Cody, when he lived over here in the apartments, we were on oh, the Oh, we were on the back. It was before. It was the night before his okay. bachelor yeah. party. And you called Courtney a bitch or I something. I did not call her a bitch. You didn't I call her a bitch. I didn't call her a bitch to her face. I like, what did I say? You said you're... <laughs> you're no, no, I didn't. I, said, I think you, refer, you referred to it in a joking way. It was clearly a joking but way. But like we all got But quiet you referred and... to her as a bitch somehow. I said something like, you're not being a bitch or something. Or... I don't know. I I didn't call her a bitch. You didn't, didn't, you're like you you weren't like you're a bitch. Right. Yeah. I didn't I didn't do that. It was just I said something. But somehow you referred to her as a bitch. And it just she's came off. equal to or greater yeah. than a bitch. And and we all got quiet because we knew Courtney's it was stony. Yeah. It was, very, it was like uh oh. <laughs> I'm guilty of that though. You know, um, I almost got beat up by my dad for because of an argument me and her got into. My dad heard me punch the wall because I'm a man. <laughs> and that's what men do. You punch walls. We're like, ooh, I'm so mad at you, baby girl. But dad. Uh. Punch a wall. <laughs> and so I go out to get her water, because we had made up. I'm getting her some water or juice or something. My dad corners me in the kitchen and goes, you fucking hit her? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Whoa, dad. No, dad. Come on, man. He's like, you fucking better not. Oh, okay, you don't have a problem. No, that's fine. So, no, I know all about uh, stepping on some ladies' toes. They don't like being called you bitches. You know all about well, punching act- walls, too. Remember when we lived together at the Peak House? Oh. We, we were all drunk, and I was peeing in the bathroom, and I hear, wham! And that, too, was Crystal's fault. Is this just pick on Crystal night or yeah. something? Yeah. How do you know? How do you know? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what the you government does. I was just trying to take a pee, and I hear that, wham! And I was like, that sounds awfully I a lot it. like like Brewer punching a hole in the wall. It went through. I, like, was wrist deep. It was like, oh my, is this a puddle? You get some drywall on your wrist. Big old hole in the drywall. On St. Uh, Patrick's Day, was it? It was, because she, we were supposed to all go out. She went out with her mom and sister. And I was standing in the kitchen, and I remember looking at Mac being like, Dear God, <laughs> Macri, can I tell you something? <laughs> she makes me so gosh darn angry. Well, I could just fist the cuffs this wall. So I, I put up my dukes. I gave it all one, two, blah, blah, and the second, the two, went right through, as twos do. <laughs> like, the pee came on my wiener even faster when you did that. I was like, I was like whoa! Wait, how many times did you hit the wall? I really only hit it once. Yeah, well, you only hit it once. It's like, bra! So I have a, I, I don't want to brag, but I don't have a very strong punch. The wall was falling apart. In the <laughs> <laughs> it was a shitty wall. It was a shitty house. It wasn't brick. You remember how we fixed it? Could do, yeah, we, at we put a uh, foam. We didn't fix it. Okay, we, we put <laughs> foam in it, and then we just sliced off the end of the foam, and not very, not even level. It bubbled. It did, well, yeah, that's what it, it does. No, it bubbled outward. We're not carpenters, all right. Jeez, we don't know fix drywall. What's spackle? I came over the next spackle. day. Spackle. And I was like, why is there a bunch of, like, Twinkie dough balled up into a, a Get it in there. Wall? Yeah. You know what? Whatever. That peak got, look, there were rats everywhere. Yeah, yeah that I, house I like, was... shot one through the head, and we, it was his glorious, finest achievement. We rented this house on a dead-end street for a year. It we was had a movie. lease for a year, and as soon as that year was up, we got the fuck out of there because it was infested with rats. Mm-hmm. It was older than hell. It was built in 1897. <laughs> and it smelled like David's fucking fart. <laughs> 
That was not someone creeping in the back door to murder us all. That sounds that was, like a yeah, haunted house. It sounds door. like the noise I made in the intro oh, for the, last week. The one episode, yeah. yeah. Was that last week? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, that that how and you know, we rented it because we thought it was built funny. Which, <laughs> like when, this house is so weird. When you're 19 and you know 21. <laughs> You shouldn't be able to make decisions like that. Even yeah, though well, you we got approved for the house it to rent it. So. Or it was 19. Yeah. Hey, let's move right 21, in. 21, 22. That dresser stayed in the dining room. I fell down the stairs. We couldn't get the, the the air conditioner out of the wall in my room. Yeah, you had an air conditioner built into the wall. Mm-hmm. There was no window in your room. It was cut in. So they, yeah. This will do. They cut a rectangle. Fridge on the back porch for a year and two buckets of oil. And we we left. We did have two buckets of oil, but those weren't ours. No, no, they were there from before. And then I got the scariest <laughs> call of my life. Tyler telling me that bear ate a rat. Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. The the house was totally infested with rats. We had fourteen rats that we killed. Well, at the time they were working on that Sylvania, and they put a, they gave us, they yeah, taped the thing to our door was... saying, yo. We're ripping up the sewers, and the rats are gonna look for a place to live. Probably your house. Rats. <laughs> you could hear them. my bedroom was on the the first floor, and I could hear them outside of my room, just scurrying about, just having a little party in the living room. It was nuts. It was disgusting. Absolutely gross. And I'd get up in the middle of the night, and I'd turn on the light to get a drink of water, and I'd see one scurry out, and I'm like, "What the fuck is this? Am I like living in Scandinavia?" It was bad. It was, I had dreams about centipedes crawling over my face. But we killed them all. We did. We got them. Through him. traps, through a BB gun. I killed two of <laughs> I the BB I called the landlord. Gun. You're like, can you send somebody out to clean up all these dead rats around the house? And what did they do? They said, well, we really don't do that. And then we're like, that's fine, but you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> and what did they do? Well, first of all, they, they're like, we're like, this house is infested with rats. And they're like... Oh, okay. And they just dropped off a couple of rat traps on our porch. Oh. We're like, oh. We killed more rats that year than <clears throat> than I ever had in my whole entire life. Yeah. It was nuts. It was crazy. Well. And we'd poison them. Oh, we're getting down there. We're, we're Ten minutes. Down. <laughs> let's we're let's wind, wind it. We're, wind it down. Whoa, Cue whoa, the, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, whoa. the crazy kids. The janitor what? at my work, he's the classiest guy ever. He wears like a... Nice dress shirt and nice pair of slacks. And his job would suggest otherwise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and all day, he, he's like full of one-liners, you know. All day, he's like, winding down, winding down, winding down. Oh. <laughs> well, the first half of the day, he's like, up the, it's only up the hill, man. It's only up the hill. <laughs> and then Ooh. the second half of the day, he's like, winding down, winding down. And Are then today, been? since today is Ricky. Tuesday. Ricky, yes. Ricky at work. He kept saying, two for Tuesday, two for Tuesday. And tomorrow, you know what he's going to say? Midweek Wednesday, hump day, hump day. day. (laughs) Thursday, what's he going to say? I don't know. Thursday, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. I was going to say, it's Thursday. Guys, I can be be serious sometimes, guys. It's just Thursday, okay? It's just Thursday. That's all I'm trying to say. (laughs) What do you want me to say, huh? One-liners? Okay. I'm not your dancing fucking monkey. <laughs> now move. I gotta it's Thursday. Get out of my way. I'm a janitor. <laughs> well, cue the music. <laughs> We've had some good times here, right? <laughs> With Tyler and Dave. <laughs> We're going to talk some more a little later. But now we must go away. Hit me. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> we apologize. I didn't know what you meant. We apologize from the very beginning. I went for to like the very end. classic rock and they went smooth jazz big. I was going for smooth jazz. Yeah. What was I don't Give it to like... me one more clock. <laughs> That's an inside joke. None of you guys are gonna get that one. Okay, okay. well, bye. Good evening. Bye. Say bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you for having me here, guys. Put your fun. socks back oh, on, no, David. What is this? <laughs>